So we're just going to set up a project here. We're going to create a React Native project, and we're going to create a Django project inside the one folder. And we're going to call we're going to call the the Django API. We're just going to call it API, and then the actual app we're going to call app. And we're just going to get all that set up before we get too far ahead of ourselves. And the folder that we're going to put it in, we're just going to call it real time dash chat. That's where we're going to be working from. Now to create a React Native project, first you need to set up your environment here. Um, depending on what environment you're working on, I'm going to be working on Mac uh, because I'm going to be I'm going to have the Android and the iOS simulator open at the same time so that we can test our chat like in real time. We can watch the bubble working when we start typing. We can see the messages received instantly. So I'm not going to go through how to install this. This is something you should already be very well familiar with. We're going to fly through this project. It's definitely an intermediate level project. It's going to be a lot of fun, so let's go. And now to create a project. Really simple. We find, where is it? To create a project, the command is right here. So we're going to go I'm going to call this real time chat and we're going to change the name straight away. Sweet. All right. Now we're going to we're going to rename real time chat. I'm just going to call it app. The reason why we called it Real Time Chat initially is because um, the actual app name, um, you know, the name of, like, the name that it's that, that's going to be given to the app for the the uh, the native iOS project, the Android project, is going to be called Native Chat, um, which is just uh, we just want that anyway. So we're going to move that to that. We're going to open. VS Code, which we should be using. We're going to make it full screen because that's going to be a lot easier for us. And now we've just got this app. That's that's it, nothing else. Now when we want to run, we don't want that. when we want to run our apps, instead of typing in the command that's going to run our app in the simulator for iOS and Android, we're just going to make a make file and we're going to put our commands in that and it's going to be really, really easy to run that command. So to run iOS, we're going to go run iOS and we're just going to go from the root, we're going to go cd into, into app and in this within the same command we're going to go npm run iOS. However, this will work. This will work perfectly fine. I'm going to do something slightly different and I'll show you exactly why. So I'm just going to open up the simulator app here. It's just going to pick iPhone Pro Max and See when you get open simulator, see how you've got iOS, uh, sorry, you've got iPhone SE 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max, blah, 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 all this. If you don't specify, it's just going to pick whichever one's open or the first one in the list. I don't want it to pick the first one in the list. This one, it picked this one because I've previously opened this, but that's fine. So I want to basically specify this iPhone 14 Pro Max in the command right here. And the command looks like pass those arguments. And then we go make. Should work. It'll just take a second to build and run. Yo! Alright, it's working. Sweet. So it builds, 
We've got our simulator running. We've got the actual iPhones, the actual, you know, the correct iPhone that we picked running. All good. Now we're going to close that down. We're going to close this down. Terminate. And now we're going to do exactly the same thing, but for Android. So we're going to make another one. Call this Run Android. Remove all this. Run Android. Clear that. Now we're going to go make run Android. Yeehaw! All right, that worked. So we've got it running for each one individually. That's fine. Now we'll close this down and we'll close this down as well. Today, yep. So now we're going to create one more and this is going to run both at once. So we're going to go run. I don't know if you're familiar with make files, but you can just do something like this. Android run iOS and then when we when we run run <laughs> then it's going to do both of them at the same time or in sequence not at the same time it's going to do one after another and so now we've closed everything down we're going to clear that and the reason why we put run at the top is because if we just run make without any arguments it's going to just pick the first one so we run make and then we'll wait for all that to work and then, then we'll be fully good to go. Uh, it's not ready yet, it's still building. Alrighty, now we've got both, both working. We've got both simulators running with a single command. We've got the right simulator running, like, you know, this, the right iPhone. Everything is all good. Now we can move on to the next one.